Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple business account ledger in Excel. I have something set up already on my screen here, and it's just several uh, fictional transactions, uh, and I have a table with the data, date of the transaction, the transaction, the category, the type, meaning expense or income, and then the amount, uh, where if it's an expense, it's a negative number. If it's an income, it's a, it's a positive number. So the kinds of things you can do with this is you can, um, if you, by entering in the, uh, the category, you can actually sort by category. And this is something that's very good to know. In fact, it's important to know if you use Excel at all is, is the ability to do this kind of thing. So, um, but first let me just show you how you can, you can use this to uh, add up your balance as, as, you're, as, you, as you move along. Uh, what it is going to be in the balance here, I'll just scroll in a little, it's going to be a formula and it's just going to be equal the sum of all the numbers from the first number to whichever number you're at. So the first one is just simply itself. So you, you can have a range in a formula that goes from E2 to E2. That just means I'm adding all the numbers from this number to itself. Uh, but what we're going to do before we hit enter and, and actually enter in the formula, the, f the first, b the start of this range here on the, on the E2, we're going to put a dollar sign before the 2. And what that means is that's, that's telling Excel that when we copy this formula somewhere else, somewhere else we don't want to change that 2. The 2 remains fixed. And you'll, you'll see why that's important in just a second. So I'm going to hit return. And, um, and there's, there's the balance. Uh, let me just scroll back out. So there's the balance. And what you can do is you can take this formula and you can copy it. So we'll copy it and then we'll go to the next cell and we'll paste it. I'm just doing right click, copy and, and then whoops, right click and then paste. Oops, I, I copied the blank here. I copy that and then I come down to this cell and I right click and I paste. Okay, and then I come down here and I right click and I paste. Now, we're going to be right-clicking and pasting a lot here. Let me show you a little shortcut. If you're at a, at a formula, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're at a cell and you want to copy the cell all the way down through a row of numbers, just click the cell and then move your cursor until you see a plus sign like that. And then just hold your mouse down and click and drag it down. And that will, um, I'm just making this the column a little bigger, that will copy the formula all the way down to the bottom. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted and today I showed you how to set up a ledger using Excel. Thank you for watching.